even when things seem to be out of season, that we have to understand that the same way, I'm almost done, that God bless you in season, he can bless you out of season. So I told you, you got to trust God in season. And what? You've got to believe that the same God, everyone says same God. The same God that bless you in season can bless you out of season. And then you've got to realize, watch this, that the one that's able to bless you in season and out of season, the reason he's able to bless you in and out is because he controls the seasons. Somebody going to help me preach. Before the day is over, uh, look at somebody and tell them God controls the seasons. In Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26, he said, And I will make them and the places round about my heel a blessing, and I will cause the showers to come down in his season. They shall be showers of blessings. God said, Don't worry about it. If you trust me, you don't have to worry about the season. Just know you know the person that controls the season. And what I'll do, I'll let showers come down in not the season. Watch this. But in his season. Can't give you just a second to digest that. Not in the season. But in his season. How many know there's a difference between the season and his season? Okay, I'm going to try that again. I said, how many know there's a difference between the season and his season? See, the season, you got to wait till the date comes. The season. Lord, I wish y'all wanted me to preach. The season. You got to wait. Uh, to December 21st and it's winter. The season. You got to wait till the calendar date before spring comes in. But his season don't operate with dates. His season don't operate with calendars. His season, he can give you a season anytime. Matter of fact, if you don't believe it, he can give you summer in the midst of winter. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. He can give you spring in the midst when things are breaking down. Why? Because he does it in his season. Lord, I gotta, I gotta leave y'all. Y'all help me preach and I'm gonna leave it. Look at somebody and tell them there is a difference between the season and his season. I've got news for you. I want to prophesy to somebody right now. Trust him. Because he's getting ready to do it in his season. Not the season. But his season. The season. When you don't have it. The season. When your money is funny. Yeah, that's the season. When they say your credit score don't reach it. But when his season come, he overlooks the credit score. In his season, y'all ain't gonna help me preach. He calls his money to come that you didn't know was coming. In his season, he gives you promotion. In his season, he elevates you. In his season, he gives back to you and causes showers a blessing. Lord, they don't want this. I said he causes showers of blessing. Look at somebody and tell them showers of blessing. Oh, y'all ain't helping me. Look at somebody and tell them showers of blessing. That means he's causing it to rain on you. He's causing it not just to drip. He didn't say I'm sending drip drop. I'm sending showers of blessing. I'm going to let you get drenched. I'm going to let you get wet. I'm going to send what? Showers of blessings. Look at somebody and tell them showers 
of blessings. So when he says that I'm going to do it, God controls the season. So we must trust God and stretch out and believe that God has got us in his care. Since God is in control of the seasons, that means he can cause us to function and operate in any season. 